Good afternoon, everyone. Eric here, Northwest Bus Sales. Appreciate your time checking us out. All right, check this one here. We got us a 2011 ICRE rear engine. It's a 78 passenger. I think you're gonna like it. This thing is, this thing's, well, walking around it on the outside, it looks pretty good. Very, very minimal damage on it. Minor dings and scratches throughout, but Let's cruise on inside and give her a look. 2011 ICRE. It's got the Max Force DT in it. That is a 466 cubic inch, 7.6 liter. No, wait, 466, is that 72? No, it's 76, 7.6 liter. The Cat C7 is a 72. Oh my goodness, I'm drawing a blank. I should know this. Anyways. DT 466, 466 is 466 cubic inches. If you want to do the conversion there on that. Anyhow, looking pretty good. Let's cruise inside. A couple of uh, grab rails here as you come in. <clears throat> Step treads are looking really good. All right. Driver's seat right here, good condition. You do see some vinyl cracking here on the side, air ride driver's seat. And uh, here on the switch panel, you got your passenger heats, noise suppression, booster pump, your air operated entry door look here power mirrors heated power mirrors headlight switch this missile switch right here that is for the on spot chains instrument clusters looking good i love the white gauges 169,000 on this baby look at that mm. and then over here allison shift pad that's for the allison 3000 pts pupil transport series passenger fans and what chat what have you cruise control right there i don't know if those are actually cruise control but i know those do function the high idle setting so a lot of times even though these ic's do have the cruise control switch it is not uncommon for a school district to not have cruise control so we can look at the driver port and see if that is in fact cruise control and then driver heat controls down there defrost windshields looking good i did notice a couple of very small dings down low here see those a couple of small dings down there in the driver's side the lower part of the driver's side windshield all right oh another switch panel up here this is for all your courtesy lighting for the passengers and your heated mirror switch am fm cd player right there with a mic pa mic you got a little cubby up here And then operating tips for Allison 3000 PTS. All right. Uh, like I said, I said 78 passengers, didn't I? Let's make sure here I'm preaching gospel. 78 passengers. DT 466. I am having a recollection now. It is a 7.6 liter. 7.2 is the C7. I often get those confused. Got too much bus stuff rattling around in my head. Green upholstery here on the passenger seats. Now, as we go through here, look at this. You are going to see a lot of vinyl cracking, a little bit of seat foam hanging out on all of these. So, it's it's pert near every seat. So, but don't fret. We can get you new seat covers if you like. It's mostly just on. It's almost all just on the bottom seat cushions there midship emergency exit door right there you got speakers going down all the way along with the courtesy lighting on both sides and then the perforated ceiling there acoustic perforated ceiling and then another midship door here on the passenger side so look at that well that seat bottom's in good shape probably because it's always up floor feels pretty good as you cruise on down Yep, all the seat, nearly all the seat bottoms could stand to be replaced. Seat backs aren't in bad shape though. You can see in some areas where they have been, you know, repaired. Standard school bus style windows, 78 passenger. It's got the cameras going down. You can see here's one right here, but the brains have been taken out on the camera. So pretty common for a school district, school district to do that. Roof hatch there in the rear and then also up front. All right, you can see passenger heater right underneath that seat there. 
All right, I think that'll do it for the inside. Let's cruise around the outside. Okay, Let's see if I can't get a look underneath here. I want to show you the front steer tires. Now, all six tires are in really, really good shape. Ton of tread on these babies. I hope the camera's doing it justice. The uh, tread depth gauge said that these are all 21 to 20, 30 seconds on all six tires. See under there a little bit. There we go. Air tanks and what have you. Max Force DT. Fuel fill hose right here. We'll poke around underneath there a little bit as well. Now this bus does have air ride suspension in the rear. There you can see the drop chains. Very, very minimal rust on this baby as you go around. Minor, like I said, very minor dings and scratches. Little storage area right there. Here are bridge stones on the rear. Good tread, like I said, 20, 30 seconds all the way around. There's your drop chains. Get a look at the framework there. Okay, battery box right there. You got three Group 31s on a slide-out tray. Let's get down to the business end right here. Check out the mill. Oh, we do. I do see some mild repair here. You can see we got a, got some runs right here. A little bit of a scrape there. Not bad. I think that's the worst of it. can hear me very well this thing's louder than the Dickens but you can see the oil pan there tranny there airbag suspension in the rear all right let's open up the barn door here the back door here we go Rear start. You can probably see a little better on this one here. Oh, look at that, Moroso. How about it? Overflow reservoir. There's your DPF turbo. Coolant reservoir. All right, this does, as I pointed out, does have a diesel particulate filter, but does not have depth. No diesel exhaust fluid. Body's in really good shape on this. Check out the standard school bus windows that are tinted. Let's look around underneath here. Bridgestone's on the rear, 20, 30 seconds, front and rear. Got to keep moving. Here we go. And then you got some Coopers on the front. These things are pretty near new. Look at that. Ton of tread. And then poke around under here a little bit. Look at that. Exterior speaker. Fluid access. Washer fluid reservoir. And then your J box here. All manner of relays and fuses and what have you. Okay, and this baby does have the Washington State Patrol blessing here. Been inspected last year, 2023, so this baby was in service as of last year. Check out, there are, I don't know if the camera's picking them up, a little ding there, and one there. All right, 
think that'll do it. 2011 IC RE DT 466, 285 horse, 7.6 liter, and that is coupled along with the Allison 3000 PTS. 78 passengers, 169,000 on it, fantastic bus. This will work great for a church bus, you know, taking kids to camp, Sunday school, that kind of stuff, school districts, private schools, motorhome conversion, a lot of that going on. Overall length is 40 foot. You got about 30 foot to play with on the inside. 7.6 would be the interior dimensions, and then about six foot four for the ceiling height. Appreciate your time checking us out. Give us a look online at nwbus.com. Give us a call with any questions. 800 231 7099. Thanks.